Hello friends, Chris here, Food FAQ. Welcome to my kitchen today. I'm doing a request for how to melt chocolate. I'm making some chocolate covered strawberries. If you want, you can check out youtube.com slash Caribbean pot or caribbeanpot.com for the full recipe on these. But today we're gonna show you guys quickly on Food FAQ how to melt chocolate for, uh, in my case here, for making chocolate dipped strawberries. So here we in melting this chocolate you'll need three things. You will need a pot smaller than a bowl that you'll be using because the bowl has to fit in there and I'm using a metal bowl. You can use a glass bowl as well. I've got here some water maybe about one inch which is about two centimeters of water. The key is when you put the bowl in there the bowl's bottom should not touch the water and the final thing you'll need is a spatula or a whisk. My, my water has come up to a boil now so we're going to turn that down all the way down to low put the bowl on there and you want a big enough bowl that will fit in there nice and snug and the last thing you want to do the whole idea here is we're using the steam from that water and this is considered a double boiler I'm just going to go in with my chocolate chips there we're going to be using the steam of that water to heat the bowl which will then help uh, melt the sugar, melt the chocolate without burning it. You can do the same thing and I'm using um, milk chocolate in this instance here where you can use dark chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, white chocolate. If you're using white chocolate and you find that it's, uh, it's very thick, what you can use is some shortening to really help get it nice and, and runny if it's runny you're looking for. You can also use the microwave but it's a little bit more tricky. So for today's episode of Food FAQ we're going to melt chocolate in a double boiler. And all you want to do is, and you're going to notice it's already starting to, to melt on the bottom here which is ideal. And all you want to do now is just keep working that until it's melted through and it's going to take a couple minutes but it's so easy and you can already smell the richness from that chocolate coming up boy oh boy these chocolate dipped strawberries are gonna be banging <laughs> Valentine's Day took about two minutes or so and remember because this is metal you may want to have gloves in your hand or something something that it will get hot basically that's what I'm saying and this chocolate is fully melted now just look at that Mm, 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 mm. You chocolate lovers, boy oh boy, chocolate is not necessarily my thing, but what a simple way to melt chocolate in a double boiler. Chris here, Food FAQs, guys, thanks again for joining me in the kitchen today. Remember to check out uh, <clears throat> in the description below, I will show you guys, there will be a link on there on how I went about making this chocolate dipped strawberries just in time for Valentine's Day.